Photosynthesis and Cellular Respiration Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is a process of food making done by plants and other autotropic organisms. The presence of chlorophyll enables these organisms to make their own food. Autotropic organisms require light energy, carbon dioxide, ether to make food. In plants, photosynthesis primarily takes place in the leaves and little or none in stems depending on the presence of chlorophyll. The typical parts of the leaves include the upper and lower epidermis, mesophyll spongy layer, vascular bundles, and stomachs. The upper and lower epidermis protects the leaves and has nothing to do with photosynthetic processes. Mesophyll has the most number of chloroplasts that contain chlorophyll. They are important in trapping light energy from the sun. Vascular bundles, phloem, and xylem serve as transporting vessels of manufactured food in water. Carbon dioxide and oxygen were collected in the spongy layer and enters and exits the leaf through the stomata. The two stages of photosynthesis. The light-dependent reaction happens in the presence of light. It occurs in the thylakoid membrane and converts light energy to chemical energy. Water, one of the raw materials of photosynthesis, is utilized during this stage and facilitates the formation of free electrons and oxygen. The energy harvested during this stage is stored in the form of ATP or adenosine triphosphate and NADPH or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate hydrogen. These products will be needed in the next stage to complete photosynthetic process. The next stage of photosynthesis is the Calvin cycle or dark reaction wherein it is a light independent phase that takes place in the stroma and converts carbon dioxide into sugar. This stage does not directly need light but needs the products of light reaction. This is why it occurs immediately after the light dependent phase. The chemical reaction for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water through the help of chlorophyll and sunlight will result to glucose plus oxygen. Key concepts Plants have green pigments called chlorophyll stored in the chloroplast. This pigment aids in capturing light energy from the sun that enables plants to change it into chemical energy stored in the food. This process is called photosynthesis. Stomata are found on the lower surface of the leaf that allows the entrance of carbon dioxide needed for photosynthesis. They also serve as exit point for the oxygen produced during photosynthesis. The factors that affect the rate of photosynthesis are temperature, carbon dioxide, water, and light. Providing the plant with the right amount of these materials will ensure good quality and quantity of the harvest. Cellular Respiration All heterotrophic organisms, including man, depend directly or indirectly on plants and other photosynthetic organisms for food. Organisms need food as the main source of energy. All organisms need energy to perform essential life processes. The food must be digested to simple forms such as glucose, amino acids, and triglycerides. These are then transported to the cells. The immediate energy source of the cells is glucose. Glucose inside the cell is broken down to release the stored energy. This stored energy is harvested in the form of adenosine triphosphate or ATP. ATP is a high energy molecule needed by working cells. Glycolysis In glycolysis, the 6-carbon sugar, glucose, is broken down into two molecules of a 3-carbon molecule called pyruvate. This change is accompanied by a net gain of 2 
ATP molecules and two NADH molecules. Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle occurs in the mitochondrial matrix and generates a pool of chemical energy, ATP, NADH, and FADH2 from the oxidation of pyruvate, the end product of glycolysis. Pyruvate is transported into the mitochondria and loses carbon dioxide to form acetyl-CoA, a two-carbon molecule. When acetyl-CoA is oxidized to carbon dioxide in the Krebs cycle, chemical energy is released and captured in the form of NADH, FADH2, and ATP. Electron transport chain The electron transport chain allows the release of the large amount of chemical energy stored in reduced NAD plus and reduced FAD. The energy released is captured in the form of ATP. The electron transport chain, or ETC, consists of a series of molecules, mostly proteins, embedded in the inner mitochondrial membrane. This phase of cellular respiration produces the greatest number of chemical energy in the form of ATP. Photosynthesis and Respiration the relationship between photosynthesis and cellular respiration is such that the products of one system are the reactants of the other. Photosynthesis involves the use of energy from sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to produce glucose and oxygen. Cellular respiration uses glucose and oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Humans, animals, and plants depend on the cycle of cellular respiration and photosynthesis for survival. The oxygen produced by plants during photosynthesis is what humans and animals inhale for the blood to transport to the cells for respiration. The carbon dioxide produced during respiration is released from the body and absorbed by plants to help provide the energy they need for growth and development. This is the never-ending cycle that sustains life on Earth. The process of photosynthesis is used by plants and other photosynthetic organisms to produce energy, whereas the process of cellular respiration breaks down the energy for use. Similarities between photosynthesis and cellular respiration First, they both have reduction-oxidation reaction they both have electron transport chain. They both synthesize ATP. They both utilize ATP. They both have phosphorylation. And last, they both have electron carriers. The differences between photosynthesis and cellular respiration. First, photosynthesis occurs in plants, algae, and photosynthetic bacteria while cellular respiration occurs in all living organisms. In terms of function and purpose, photosynthesis capture, convert, and store energy, while cellular respiration release energy. Third, reactants and inputs in photosynthesis are carbon dioxide, water, and light energy, while the reactants and inputs in cellular respiration are glucose and oxygen. The metabolic process in photosynthesis is anabolic, wherein carbon dioxide and energy from ATP and NADPH are used to build glucose molecules, while in the cellular respiration it is catabolic, wherein glucose is broken down to produce carbon dioxide and energy in the form of ATP, NADH, and FADH2. The location of photosynthesis is in the chloroplast of the plant cell. While in the cellular respiration, glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm while the mitochondria is the site of the Krebs cycle and electron transport chain or ETC. The source of energy for the photosynthesis is sunlight while the source of energy in the cellular respiration is glucose. The electron carriers in the photosynthesis is NADPH while in the cellular respiration, the electron carriers are NADH and FADH2. In terms of stages, photosynthesis has two stages. 
first, the light-dependent reactions wherein light, energy, and water are used to produce ATP and NADPH. The second one is Calvin cycle, wherein carbon dioxide and the energy from ATP and NADPH are used to produce glucose. While cellular respiration has four stages. First one, glycolysis. Glucose is combined with ATP to produce pyruvate molecules NADH and more ATP. Second, pyruvate oxidation wherein pyruvate molecules are broken down into acetyl-CoA, the two-carbon compound, and carbon dioxide is produced. The third stage for cellular respiration is the Krebs cycle wherein acetyl-CoA is combined with 4-carbon molecules to form the 6-carbon citrate molecules used to generate NADH, carbon dioxide, FADH2, and ATP. The fourth stage is the electron transport chain, wherein energy stored in NADH and FADH2 during the Krebs cycle is used to generate HTP, water, NAD+, and FAD. In terms of products and outputs, photosynthesis has glucose and oxygen, while cellular respiration has carbon dioxide and water. In terms of equation, the equation for photosynthesis is the reaction between carbon dioxide and water will result to glucose and oxygen, while in cellular respiration, the equation is the reaction between glucose and oxygen will result to carbon dioxide and water. The cycle of photosynthesis and respiration maintains the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis produces the oxygen to replenish oxygen that is used up by living organisms during respiration. Carbon dioxide produced during respiration is one of the reactants plants need to perform photosynthesis. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration are both part of a mutually beneficial relationship. Cellular respiration cannot occur without photosynthesis, and photosynthesis certainly cannot occur without the help of its partner.